Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Oh hold on, let me uh let me try this, hold on. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Uh I guess this is what all the cool YouTubers do, right? They hit F5 and then they do this kind of stuff and they I don't know crouch and jump around and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh uh, Jesus, this is uh Inverted controls are weird. Okay. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And the first thing you're probably thinking is, holy hell, this has changed a freaking lot since we last left off. And, uh, yeah, that's quite true. A lot of things have been changed. I have done quite a lot of things, uh, mainly involving just mining for resources and grinding a bit so you don't have to watch me do boring stuff. But anyways, I do have something planned for today, and uh, it does involve getting more resources. The first thing I did is that I expanded my house somewhat, I guess. Uh, I decided to build the walls, quick foundations, I need more birch planks for the floor, and that's where this comes in. So over here we have what I like to call the semi-automatic tree farm. Basically, if ever, whenever you mine a tree, the leaves will decay, as everyone knows who has played Minecraft before, everyone knows that. The leaves decay, and then they drop saplings and sticks and very important stuff. So let's say you want to, let's say, get some wood, and then you don't want to stick around and wait for all the leaves to decay. Basically, what this does is you mine down the wood, all the leaves decay, and all the saplings and good stuff just fall right into the water and flow down there, down all the way over here, into a hopper, where I can then collect all the uh, leaves and saplings and stuff, then I plant them again, and it's sort of like a semi-AFK sapling farm. Semi-AFK. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. Another thing I've been doing is uh, getting some resources and mining some stuff. Now, to be honest, there hasn't been, uh, I haven't really mined too much. All I've done is pretty much expanded the network, just got a bunch of resources, smelted a lot more kelp, built a, um, a smoker for mainly just kelp purposes. Basically, just smelted some glass, getting ready to turn that into panes, uh, and got a bunch more redstone, a bit more gold, and a lot more iron. Oh, uh, I did get this gunpowder, that's because while I was mining, uh, or uh, while I was mining, I decided to come up, it was night, or it was day, it was night, and then the creeper blew up, and this is why there's this big hole over here, and uh, yeah. And over there, you can see the very dark tunnel that shockingly doesn't have, where did all the torches go? Now, another thing I did with the mine is that I made it so that first I replaced all the torches because I actually recently noticed that uh, because I was experimenting with the water systems in the tree farm, the water kind of soaked down here and kind of put out all the freaking torches that were everywhere. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, now instead of, let's say, curving around to get to the mine, I basically replaced it with stairs. I think I should... Did I show you the stairs? I'm not sure, but I replaced it with stairs. And basically now all you, what you can do is just, well, run all the way down here. Uh, I'm demonstrating this poorly, but you know what I mean. Anyways, today in this video, I am planning to do something relatively... Somewhat cool, I guess I'm saying this weird. Anyways, today in this video, I plan on exploring today. And when I say exploring, I mean exploring. I mean doing some exploration. I mean, you know, grabbing a boat and sailing off into the ocean. And I know what you might be thinking, Ryan, how do you plan on exploring without a map? Won't you get lost and stuff? Well, actually, yes, I have considered that. And uh, besides uh, recording the exact destinations, which is, uh, I'm too lazy to do that, and I also want to be cool, we're going to make a map. We're not going to make any map. We're going to make a buried treasure map. And I know what you're thinking, that seems kind of weird, why would you do that and how would you do that? Well, I did a little bit of research and it turns out that buried treasure maps act exactly like normal maps. So as you can see, if we have a cartography table over here, we can put the map here, we can put a piece of paper here, and boom, we have a scaled map. And we can keep doing this until we, you know, uh, get a really, really scaled out map, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So now, we have a fully, oh my god, we have a fully scaled out map, pointing in the direction of here, into the ocean, and pointing to the direction of there, into whatever. And the good thing is, we have an automatic home locator, which is the X over there, so we don't need to remember or recall which area on the map is our uh, home area. So basically, all we need is a boat, a map, some tools, and now we can go exploring. Yay! Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Because that pillar sort of shaped it. Oh, that's what I think. That's a fr Oh my good god. That's a freaking ocean monument. Like, right here. Okay, that's good to know. That's really good to know. This is a heck of a freaking seed. Okay then. Ocean monument. Good to know. I'm probably not going to touch that in like a million years from now. But, uh, 
Yeah, good to know. I see something's glowing over or that. I don't know if that's glowing over there. I see some ravines generating. Stuff's happening. Not seeing any land though. Oh, I think that's a underwater ruin. That's pretty cool. Yep, that looks like a ruin. That's for sure. Uh, is that is that close enough to the surface that I won't attract the attention of the drowned? Because I don't really have a lot of armor on me. Uh, so... Okay, let's see if we can just make this real... Oh, drowned. Nope. Okay. No, thank you. We are good. Let's get in the boat. Why am I lagging? Oh, kelp. Oh, lots of what in the... Okay, I guess something generated and it broke the kelp. Okay, sure, free kelp. I don't mind. Uh, is that the same... Wait. Is that the same ocean monument or the same one that I... Wait, is that a different ocean... Wait a minute, are there two freaking ocean monuments? And I think that's a, sh that's a shipwreck over there. Are there two freaking ocean monuments? I think there might be. Or I could just be stupid. I need to review that footage. But I think there are two ocean monuments right next to each other. That's kind of freaking insane. a load of garbage. Uh, a load of garbage. You know what? Screw this. Okay, we're gonna drown. Uh, oh, you know what I need to make? I need to make a door or, a door or trap. I need a freaking door or trap door. Does that work? Does that work in 1.16? If you put a door underwater, does it automatically... Wa doesn't it automatically waterlog the door, though? Whoa, what's this? Oh, we have something here. We found something. We found what looks like a mountain. That's a really big, that's a, that's a really big, oh, that's a huge mountain. Okay, well, we found a mountain. Not really sure how much uh, use that's going to provide us, but sure, let's, let's, let's go look at this then. There's one spruce tree. And there is kelp and the, what the? What the hell? What the? Okay then. Okay, while everything around me kind of renders in slowly, uh, this is actually pretty interesting looking. Oh, what? Is that a ruined... That's a ruined portal! An underwater ruined portal! That's pretty dang cool! Not only is a ruined portal, well, you know, cool because it's 
well, it's cool, but there's also usually a chest with some loot inside, and some gold, which is also pretty cool, and because I generated over here, some freak help. Oh, jeez, oh, that scared me. Oh, okay, that's a magma blocks, gotta remember that. No, oh, no, okay. Gotta remember that, magma blocks. They drag you down, don't they? Right, okay, so this could actually end pretty horribly, okay. Uh, let's go down, let's get this gold. Looks like it's only one piece of gold today. On second thought, let's come back here with an iron pickaxe and mine that gold. Okay, let's just navigate around these uh, these magma blocks. The bubble columns aren't showing for some reason. There's some crying obsidian there as well, and yeah, there's some other stuff. Mossy bricks. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here of interest. Let's see what's in this. Oh my gosh, obsidian and oh leggings! You gotta be kidding me! I already have leggings. I mean, now I have gold leggings, which are kind of cool. I guess I'll save this when I'm going to the nether? I don't know. That's, oh my, that's a mega, that's a, okay, we're exploring this, that's official. That's a mega spruce biome, oh my god. That is a mega spruce biome. If you don't know what a mega spruce biome is, or at least that's what I call it, it's basically a spruce biome. Except instead of instead of one by one thick trees, you actually have two by two thick trees and coarse dirt and whatever the hell the other dirt is called. Oh my god, this is a mega spruce biome. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another, that's a, yep, that's another spruce, that's a, that's another meg, I think that's another mega spruce, are you kidding, okay then, uh, another mega spruce biome, that's pretty dang neat. Okay then, and then, this is, actually, hold on, this might just, yep, that's a really large mega spruce biome. That goes all the way from there, extending across here, extending across here, uh, this is, oh my, that's really cool. That's really cool. This is just a really big lagoon, a gulf. A gulf? Would that be the right term? A gulf. This is just a really big gulf. There's nothing in this gulf, is there? Okay, uh, looks like we stumbled across. Oh my god, this is a. This is a huge ravine! Okay, this is kind of an. This is an interesting landform. Looks like we have like a bunch of little caves that kind of just go inside here. That's kind of. a little weird, if I must say, but cool. Oh, sapling, yay! Okay, looks like we found another ravine. This doesn't seem as uh, large as the other one, but uh, yeah, another ravine. That's pretty cool. Also, looks like I think we've stumbled upon upon a river. Which I mean, is pretty useful actually. That means I can use my boat and not die of hunger. Okay, uh, let's see where this leads us. Actually, let's see where this leads us.
Oh, hey, a beehive. It's kind of cool. I don't see any bees, but it's actually really cool. A beehive. First one I've discovered in Survivor so far. That's pretty neat. Uh, pretty sure mining this is gonna just have a bunch of angry bees come after me, but uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. Okay, I think we found something kind of interesting. We have a really weird looking rock formation. Yeah, okay, that's kind of interesting. Oh, that's a really weird looking rock formation. Okay then, I want to see what is actually going on over there. Oh, this is- oh, it's a mountain village! That is cool! That is really, really cool! Hi, what do you sell? Paper for emeralds? That's a really good deal, my friend! Oh my gosh, this is- Wow, looks like we have a bit of everything over here. Our farmers, potatoes, that's not bad. Also not bad, we have a bit of everything over here. Um, a brewing stand? I'm not gonna take this stuff just yet, cause uh, a, the villagers need it, and B, my inventory is going to be so full. Oh my god, this is, a, this is a really nicely generated village. Oh my god, is there like... No, okay, is there like a chest full of stuff I can take? Yes, I know some of these villages... Villaging units... Villaging units... Villager houses have chests in them. Oh, this is really cool. A butcher with... Oh, you, you, rabbit? Rabbit? Really? How sustainable is that? How sustainable is it to farm rabbits? Yeah, a smoker. Of course, that makes sense. Ooh, got one of these fancy looking houses. Uh, what's in here? A fletching table, which I'm pretty sure still does nothing. Yep. And that's about it. Yeah. Okay. A stone cutter or a mason. There we go. And some clay. I guess that's pretty cool too. I don't think I've seen a farmer with a hay trade, so this is pretty much I can just leave this here for now. Also, speaking of which, it is located next to a mountain, so that could also be pretty useful. Jesus Christ, how do you expect anyone to climb up here? My god. There we go. Okay, that's better. Is there anyone up here? Hello? Any residents? And we're up here. We have a flower bed pot thing. We have some random sketchy looking caves. And we have a few other buildings. Uh, what's in this big house? Please be some- Oh, a chest, finally. Uh, okay, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Not really super interesting. Uh, I mean, it's food, so... Yeah, I guess that's good. Uh, yeah, okay, then... Cool, okay, definitely not what I expected. I'll just leave the chest there because I'm too bored to get it anyways. There's another big building here, which means... Oh, what's the, oh a blast furnace. Do you have a... No, you don't have an occupation. Okay. That's interesting, a blast furnace room. And uh, is there anything else here? Some more hay covered in snow? It's going to be a freaking nightmare trying to get back and forth from these places. Anyways, on that note, I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Adios. Bye. Yeah, this was a heck of an episode. Oh, I wonder how I'm gonna edit this.
probably in a lot of time lapses, that's how. Okay then.